Hello and welcome to your daily love message from your person. My name's Liz and this is Guided by Angels. And I'm going to bring in the Divine Masculine 101 today to bring in a message from them to you. So what do they want to say to you from their heart and soul? And if you would like a personal reading with me, you can reach out to me at guidedbyangelsxo at gmail.com. So thank you, angels. What's the energy around them today? What do they want you to know? So out of the whole deck, only two cards have come out. Wow. I may bring another deck in. I'll see what they guide me to do. But look at this. I need my space sometimes to think things through. So what they're really saying to you here is because they're blocking my throat chakra. <clears throat> so if there's a block in communication right now, if they are quiet, if they are silent, they are doing the work, they are processing, they need time to think things through. It doesn't mean there's anything wrong between you. And if you're thinking, oh, he doesn't want me or he doesn't love me or he doesn't care about me, isn't wanting me because he's gone quiet or silent, then please think again. Go within and try and observe it in a higher way because he just needs space. They just need space right now. Him, her, they need space to think things through. They're trying to process what they're going through. They're trying to come to terms with certain things. They're trying to come up with answers and solutions and a plan to be able to make things better between you, to be able to make things better in their life, to be able to move forward and move on from certain things they need to move on from. So they are letting you know today if there is some space between you, if they are quiet, if they aren't replying to you right now, whatever is going on, they just need a little bit of space to think things through. And there's nothing wrong with that. It's like they're saying it's quite normal, it's not quite natural, we're okay. And of course it would be much better if they communicated with you and told you that they needed space instead of just going quiet or ghosting you or being silent. But they do this to work it out. I need my space sometimes to think things through. And that's because they have to come to their own conclusions and they have to make their own decisions and they need to work it out themselves. Yes, you can give them support and advice and guidance, but ultimately they need to do this by themselves because that's part of their journey and their mission. And I think about kissing you. So also when they are apart from you, they definitely do think about kissing you. When they've got space from you and they are thinking things through, they do think about kissing you. They have those moments where they're able to escape into their mind and fantasize about you, kissing you. And they know that when they kiss you, it's not going to stop. It's going to turn into more. It's going to turn into that sacred intimacy between you. And they also need to be ready for that, especially if they are dealing with a karmic partner or there's other things going on. So they're definitely thinking about kissing you. They are just saying to you, I need my space. And I feel this is what you need to know. They're going to kiss it better. They're going to make it better. They think about kissing you, loving you and talking to you. So right now, that's what's on their mind. So if you're thinking, oh, he's forgotten me or she's forgotten me. How can they forget about you when they think about kissing you? How can things be over between you? when they are thinking about kissing you. So if you're saying, oh, it's over between us because they've disappeared and they're ghosting me, I haven't heard from them or there's a karmic partner, whatever's going on, you need to breathe and relax because they just need a little bit of space to think things through. And it's a natural thing that they do sometimes. It's how they process and grow, but they are actually thinking about kissing you. So let's bring in another deck here. Let's bring in... The Divine Masculine Gets Real Oracle. So what do they want to get real with you about today? When they are thinking about kissing you and needing a little bit of space, what are they going through? Card jumps out. Yeah, communicate. That's the only card that wants to come out. I will reach out. I feel this is a very clear, very simple message today. They are saying to you, I just need my space. I will communicate with you and reach out to you. I just need my space sometimes to think things through. So if you're panicking because they're not communicating, they will reach out. You just need to surrender this to heaven and let go and have faith in the journey and to trust that they love you enough to reach out. Remember your value. So really, this is a test to you because it's about your value and your truth. So remember your truth. The truth is, you know that you belong together. The truth is, you know that they love you and you know that they are going to reconnect with you because deep down inside, you know, it's not over no matter how things seem. And remember your own value, your own worth. Think, of course, he's going to reach out to me. Of course, she's going to reach out to me. I'm me. There's nobody like me. So remember, there's nobody like you. Nobody compares to you. You are not replaceable 
You are irreplaceable, which means it doesn't matter who they're around, what they're doing, where they are, who they're talking to. There is nobody like you. And they know that there's nobody like you. So, of course, they're going to reach out to you. They just need a little bit of space to think things through. And if they're thinking about kissing you, of course, they're going to communicate to you and reach out to you because they want to kiss you. <clears throat> they give me a block. Don't worry about these blocks or these pauses or these moments of quiet because it's how they grow and evolve. It's just how they work out the next steps. It's just how they process their feelings and emotions. It's how they come up with a plan so they can then put that plan into place. So the message coming through for you very strong is don't worry today if they need space, they are processing what's going on, planning how to reach out and thinking about kissing you. They're just working out what to say and how to say it. They're working out how to reach out. They're working out what they want to say. So don't panic and send them a message or bombard them with messages or, you know, they're giving me fear. Go into fear. Don't go into fear. Relax and breathe. Instead, put your energy elsewhere. Spend your energy on your creative goals. Think about something you want to do. Leave your phone in another room. That's such a powerful thing to do when you are feeling urgent about what's going on because... When you're feeling urgent or anxious, you may want to scroll through their Facebook or social media, or you may want to send them a message, or you may want to do things that you may end up wishing you hadn't to done, like sending a nasty message or, you know, worrying about things. So instead, don't have the temptation there. Put your phone in another room or even turn it off or put it on, you know, airplane mode or whatever you do so you're not able to go on it. And then the moment of stress that you're feeling will pass. And before you know it, that communication will come in. Because they are definitely thinking about kissing you. If they were thinking, weren't thinking about kissing you, you know, they wouldn't want to reach out. They are thinking about kissing you because they want to reach out. And they want to reach out because they're thinking about kissing you. So if they need the space, it's okay. It's like they said, I just need my space sometimes. It, we're okay. Don't worry, we're okay. I just need to think a, through, a few a through. A, and again, they can't get the words out. They need to think things through, a few things through. Some of them can't express themselves right now. That's why I'm struggling to get the words out. They can't even say the words. So they need time to work out how to do that. They can't even say the words to themselves. How are they going to say them to you? Even if it's just in a message. So give them time to work out what they want to say. Give them time. They may even need space right now because they're dealing with something else. They could be thinking about a work issue. Or something going on with a family member. Or maybe something's going on with the children. Or they could have had an argument with a karmic partner. Whatever is going on in their life, they just need a little bit of space. So it may not actually be about you at all. Remember we did a reading about that the other day. It, not everything is about you. So it could be about their kids. It could be about their job. It could be about something else. It could be about their health. So just give them time to reach back out to you because they will. And no matter what it actually is they are going through or dealing with, they are still thinking about kissing you. They are still thinking about communicating to you. They are still thinking about reaching out to you, which means it will happen. But your journey and your lesson right now is also to trust them enough and trust in the love enough to allow them to reach out in divine timing. To value yourself enough to know, of course, they're going to reach out to you because of who you are. So value yourself enough to allow them to come forward and allow them to take the lead in the connection. So take that step back and allow them to move forward. And you do something for you, maybe go out with your friends or meet up with a family member you haven't seen for a while. You know, anything you may have been neglecting on this journey because you've been too focused on them or overthinking things, spend time on that. And think, right, I'm going to really find the time today to sit down and go over my schedule or to think about the next month or what I need to do or to make some time for my family or friends or to go out and have some time with myself. When you're doing all of that, then you're busy thinking of your own stuff. So you're busy thinking your own things through. And then they will start thinking what's going on. They'll feel that energetic shift and they'll feel the space between you. And that's when they'll come back. So if they are needing space, it's also a sign from heaven that you need space. You may not feel you need space in that moment, but there's probably something you can actually be putting your mind and attention on that you might not be able to put your mind and attention on if you're messaging them or talking to them or around them. 
So if they need space, think, right, well, that's my cue from the universe to give my myself space to work on me. If they need to work on themselves and think things through, you work on yourself and think things through. So remember, you are always mirrors of each other. So if they need space, so do you. So always try and see it in a higher way and that will get you through. I hope this helps. Have a great day and I'll see you soon.